Welcome in then to the latest edition of Extra Time. Thank you very much for joining us. Oh, Frank, you look very stern. What's happened? What's well, the yeah. arms crossed. Uh, you know, I want. I just. I was waiting for that for for that time to for Steve to tell me how the what the name of the breast uh, 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 scorer today, if right, he remembers. Then, that's because I made a mistake, didn't I? Well, I made many mistakes today. Less, uh, but, less yeah, melu. Well, less uh, melu. Just maybe. Like, there, oh, there you go. Oh, that's right. what you say. And then what about? You just were a bit discombobulated today. No, I just asked. I asked the wrong question. You had question. the two set. You had the two Bayern Munich centre halves. Yes. Uh, discussing with Hansi Flick right, yeah. about the yes. tactics. I was. I was in the classical. It's often nice of Hansi Flick to have a word with him. Well, that's very nice. Yes. <laughs> Excuse so me. Hans <laughs> down at a dangerous garden path. Excuse me, Hansi. I apologise. It's, it's a day cut a pomegranate. There we go. Live TV. Me. What can you do, hey? Well, no, Zip. none of us have ever made a mistake. No, have we? Exactly. Craig. Once, no. Craig once said. That the secret to beating high line defence off side trap is through midfielders, midfielders runners. Why didn't Bayern do this for the entire 90 minutes? Companies inexperience, or is it just a very difficult thing to do? It's not a difficult thing to do, but they didn't have the players to. You know, uh, Kimmich is not going to do it. Polinho is not going to do it. Then you have to look to your to your wider players to be coming in field and arcing those runs yep. to get in behind. And right. you what you and I'm always saying a striker. And it's very difficult with strikers in this scenario because their, their, their instinct is to, to get in there. Don't be greedy. If they're coming out, you come out with them. Right? Come out with them. Don't try and break the offside. The offside will be broken from somebody coming from deeper. Right. Players have made careers out of it. But they just... Well, we were sitting watching going, they're going to get killed here, Aye. Basser. They're going to get killed. And then Bayern... Stopped doing it. Just stopped doing it. But they didn't really have... You know, he brought on Goretzka and one or two others yeah. who has... Musiala came on as well. Goretzka and Musiala, particularly Goretzka has had a... Musiala is a ball player. Goretzka's had a reputation of doing a bit of everything and those deep runs into the box, but by that time it was too late. Uh, Frank, should Lucas Vasquez start praying now after seeing Rafinha play today? Uh, well, yes, because... Um, for, well... He, he, he should he should take care of his of his confidence. That's the thing. Because Rafinha, when he tries something now, is successful all the time on when he does. And uh, yeah, you have to know that um, you will have to break that confidence. And uh, we saw Lucas Vasquez, you know, on the, I think it was on the second goal when he made a mistake for for mm. Dortmund. Yeah, yeah, we will have to pay attention to. Uh, to what Rafinha does because the guy is on fire and you have to respect that. But Vasquez has a lot of experience and on top of that, he has players with Militao or Rüdiger who know how to, to cover them, co cover him, sorry. So he won't be on his own. That's the, the good thing about, the, about Vasquez and Real Madrid comparing to maybe Bayern today. Big Tony's going to be extra angry at the weekend. Oh, I love an angry Rudiger. You talk about being worried. <laughs> I, I think if I was Robert Lewandowski's calves, I might be worried. Yeah, indeed. Because he's... Yes. Once he's got those eyes fixated on, he's like, the, the mad eyes. Like, uh-oh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which was more impressive, Stevie? <clears throat> Vinicius Junior's hat-trick yesterday or Rafinha's today? God, I've really forgot. Oh, that's a tough one. It's Vinicius Junior, isn't it? I'm trying to remember. No, really we were talking about. Yeah, I'm trying Vinny, to remember. First one was played yeah. through, and he took it. The second one was that incredible individual run. Bellingham yeah. wins the ball, takes it past everyone, and yeah, but, yeah, but I mean, they might look. They might have looked more exciting. Yes. But I mean, Rafinha's the last goal. I mean, him scoring from that angle with two defenders on him. You know, he's, he's, he's he, before he's shot. His last touch is taken further left. I mean, really, he had nothing to shoot at. And he's stuck at home past one of the best goalkeepers in Europe. So I don't think. Listen, you can't you can't get it wrong, but I don't think there's that much in it between the two. So who would you pick? I don't know. Really? I don't think it's difficult. <laughs> No, I don't know. No, I think you've made it difficult for yeah, yourself here. You look at those three goals and compare the three <laughs> no, goals Finney's, as a collective. Which Finney's, are, most Finney's are more exciting. But, well, that's what you want, exciting goals, don't oh, you? No, but your technique. What happened oh, to technique? Look at the technique that Vinicius used. You're not interested in technique. Oh, and he used no technique in any of those goals. Who? Vin Vinicius. Yeah, but it was a different technique. <laughs> I mean, look at look how cool and calm he is. He goes past... <laughs> next next he's question. One on one, he's one-on-one one with <laughs> the best again, goalkeeper. Dig in again. <laughs> he's one-on-one on, on one with one of the best goalkeepers in Europe. And he does them for fun. He goes round them and then sticks it home. No, it's, yeah. I mean, that's... Well, who is yeah. it then? Come on. I mean... Come on, who is it? 
I'm going to have to go for Rafinha now. Yeah. <laughs> I can't go for Benny. <laughs> Rafinha. <laughs> Clearly. Go for Benny From a technical now. point of view. <laughs> From a technical, yeah. yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. Oh, that that took a while. Do you agree? <laughs> No, of course not. No. 100% yeah. Vinny. I mean, yes. the, 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 the first answer. goal, yes, he does well with, with Neuer. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, the second goal is lucky with his right foot. And uh, the third oh. one, yes, okay, it's good. But comparing to what Vinny does, <laughs> Vinny creates everything on the thir- three goals that he scored. So, or the yeah. two goals that he scored out of three. Yeah. Don't even ask me. <laughs> Craig, do you think it's possible for this young Barcelona side to crumble at the Bernabeu like Dortmund did? Yes. And, and we were discussing it yeah. at length in the main show. Yeah. And you can really destroy these youngsters' confidence because the, these young guys at Bass at the moment, they're on a high, right? They're getting game time, they're winning. They've got some help around them with them, some experienced players. And they've got a, a manager who, I might say, believes in them. Of course he believes in them, but he hasn't got much of a choice, really. He's got to play the kids. And if you leave them too exposed and this experience Real Madrid side, take them to the cleaners, then trust me, the, the next three or four days of training are yeah. a complete 360. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I mean, you have to be really careful with the kids. Uh, Com- but, but these confidence c- disappears yeah. way quicker quickly. than it does coming and getting confidence, I can assure you. Even now at 17, Frank, where does uh, Yamin Lamal, <laughs> Yamal rank for you among the best in the world? It seems been at a dentist every today? game he adds new skills, talents and levels Frank. of decision making. Frank, what were you going for? Frank, 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 Frank. Yeah, yeah, that, that, was, that was very clear. That the first time I understand this question, you know, that's yes, the first yeah. time I understand Lenny everything Yamal, what he's he good, said. isn't he, Frank? He's um, getting better. <laughs> He's it, it, amazing. He's amazing again today. Uh, I mean, he did some stuff uh, on the line, uh, on the touch line. That was quite amazing. And I mean, Pele was world champion at 17, so he's not maybe the first one. But I mean, you can feel how mature he is, how confident he is uh, every time he touches the ball. And he's he's come sometimes becoming a little bit cocky, like he knows exactly, you know, how how how, how strong he is. But yeah, again today was fantastic. Can I add also Casado? I was very impressed with Casado in the middle mm. of the park. You know, because we we don't talk about people who we always talk about people who create and uh, of course Yamal, Rafinha, but Casado in the middle of the park, in um, especially uh, with a, a high line behind him, he was doing the job to pr- prevent bigger danger for for the defense. So yeah, good credit to that. I think he's 21 years old, young guy. Yeah, very good. Uh, oh, can we see the big table again? Because that'd be very relevant to this. Uh, for all, after three matches... Right, of you, may, but you may as well use the big table. May as well get the big table we'll out. paid enough money for the big table. <laughs> exactly. May as well use it. Here it comes. Uh, who's your top three to win it, Stevie? <sighs> when what? The when Champions League. Champions League. Yes. Real Madrid, Man City. There's... I think that's the two easy. Oh, look, there that's it the is. two easy picks. Remember that. I mean, after that, it's not easy. I mean, let's let's not forget Borussia Dortmund got to the final last year, so it's not quite dead. It's not quite straightforward trying to pick. All right. Yeah. Just yeah. <laughs> I think the obvious ones are City and Real Madrid, and yes. after that, there's probably you know Arsenal, Barcelona, maybe Liverpool. Be- I wouldn't. I wouldn't throw Liverpool in there yet. No. So yeah, it's not easy. Frank, how bored were you with the City performance? <laughs> I have to say, I didn't watch the game. I watched no. Liverpool and uh, and uh, <laughs> and uh, and Barca playing. But uh, yeah, you know, it's it's not. I don't want to go too negative about City because that would be stupid from myself to think and to say that City. Is not enjoyable to watch, but it's too. And we talked about that. We agree, uh, all of us, uh, during the <clears> last <throat> show when we talked about City, the way they play, they try to calculate everything. I mean, they see football. It's, I, I'm blaming Guardiola for that. Uh, with the 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 bottle half empty, they try to avoid making mistakes. Where you know, if you want to see the bottle half. Uh, are full, you will see how you can create to make sure the opponent can make mistakes. 
That's my philosophy of football. You know, try to force the other to make mistakes instead of trying to avoid making yourself mistakes. Uh, Stevie, what did you think of the backheel volley from Haaland today in the Champions League? Obviously, you were really critical of Olivier Giroud when he did it and everyone got excited about it back in the day. <laughs> well, the difference between the two is, is that Haaland had his, has his eyes on the ball the whole time and does it. Okay. Whereas Giroud absolutely didn't have his eyes on the ball and threw his leg at it. So you like this one? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Oh, OK, well, that's lovely. Uh, final question. Craig, is Celtic's clean sheets, did they play today? Played at uh, Atalanta. Oh. After getting battered in Dortmund. So right. nil, fin nil. Finish 0-0, nil -nil, right? Finish 0-0. Nil -nil. I, I, I didn't see the game, but they had a, Atalanta had a lot of efforts in goal. But, yeah, they kept a clean sheet. Is this the shot in the arm they need to propel them to Champions League glory? <laughs> what, you mean getting out of the bottom eight? <laughs> yes, where, where are they on our table? Uh, they're, at, they're in that... That medal. Wait, let's use the table again, Mike. Come Give on. it up. Come on. Here it is. They're about. I think I'm going to say the 20th. There we go. Go again. 20th. Yeah, yeah. 20th. So is it status <laughs> they would face what? Uh, what the one, two, three, four? No. They would face Benfica. There's a little caveat to where they are. Right. Because right next to them is Sparta Prague <laughs> and Dinamo Zagreb. Okay. Dinamo Zagreb will decide. I do believe they will decide in match day one. They got absolutely horsed ah. at, at Munich. Mm. Or was it Red Star? I can't Benfica remember. Benfica from. They played Benfica. Oh, they were. It was Monaco. Oh, is it? Oh. All right, get the table back up. Wait, wait, wait. Get, 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 get the table back up. There you go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five is Benfica. One, two, three, four, five. No, 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 it's not, yeah, it's not Monaco, Stevie. No, no, you're in looking at the, the fifth. You're looking at the wrong thing. I'm not. So the, the top eight qualify automatically. Yes. And then it's like 16th. Oh, sorry, yeah, yeah. And then it's like 9th versus 24th. Uh, and then yeah. 10th. Dan, I apologise, you were correct. Well, I was wrong. Like, thank I, you very much. You know, We've I all just, made mistakes today. No, I know, I think you should just stay out of these things. <laughs> I know, I should. I should know better. And now, Vinicius Junior or Rodrigo? Not Rodrigo. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll go with Vinny this time. I'll tell you what, I... <laughs> That's it, we are done. Well, I'll tell you what, just, just say, hey, it hey, 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 yeah, just hey. one more time. What's that? Get a table back! <laughs> one more time! Table. Get a table! Give me the table! Give me the table! Liverpool top six! Yes! What an exciting... Look at that. that. Yeah. 157 teams. Oh, Aston Villa top. Beautiful. Yeah, well, you're going to level on points for them. Stevie, who does Celtic get? <laughs> um, Aston Villa? <laughs> Monaco. Right, <laughs> okay. Uh, join us tomorrow as we'll be discussing the Europa League. Jose Mourinho, of course, up against uh, Manchester United. And we'll have a Europa League table for you. Ooh. That'd be exciting. Oh, how many, doesn't it? Sorry. Mm.